for Aberdeen. No Lauren Campbell in the squad. The captain not available. Gover and Stewart are amongst the subs. Hansen, Thompson and Hutchison all start in the changes from that 5-0 Scottish Cup win against Glasgow City a fortnight ago. And for Glasgow City, Hayley Lauder not in the squad. Chinchia and Prades drop to the bench from that 5-0 win. Fulton and Kozak are in. Joe Love makes a return back on the bench for Glasgow City. Yeah, yeah Kozak. Lovely looking ball for Linda McLallow. Holds up. Davidson has Whelan in the middle. McCann grasps at it. Yeah, what well, great ball. Uh, caught Aberdeen defence there, but you know, gathered comfortably by Annalisa. Corner across. Very clear out of the area. Was that turned into short? And Hutchison could be one on one here with Megan Foley. Players coming back. Hutchison continues. It looks like she'll have to go it alone. It's still Bailey Hutchison. Bailey Hutchison onto the top of the net. Yeah, unbelievable. However, not surprised. Bailey Hutchison doing exactly what she does best. And I think she's bounced off about three tackles there. How she's got a shot out of that is, you know, quite spectacular considering there's three Glasgow City players around her. Um, and yeah, extremely unlucky. Great save in the end. Aid Fulton with the in-swinger. There's the touch at the back post. Aberdeen nil, Glasgow City one. Yeah, Glasgow City will be happy with that. I think that's going to settle some, some maybe you know some anxiety in the team. You know. Oscarson Foley feeds it back through. Fulton with a move shorter. Threading it through, it's Lauren Davidson. And there's Kozak to apply the finish. That was a, a really good goal. Uh, defence splitting pass again from Whelan. And it's Aberdeen nil, Glasgow City 2. Oh, screams the direction as she gets the ball forward for Davidson. Directed cross. Swipes at it. Thompson takes. Muir pressing. It's Kozak again. It's a quick fire double for King of Kozak. Aberdeen nil. Glasgow City three. And City starting to terrorise Aberdeen here at home. Smart pass from Marie Fulton. Clark for Kozak. Can't squeeze it through. Second opportunity for Foley. Over it goes, away from Portar. Davidson applies the finishing touch. It's number four for Glasgow City. Yeah, I, I'm, I think Aberdeen's defence are really struggling here with how quick Glasgow City are moving the ball. And some misses. Won't drop for Lauren Davidson. The penalty awarded. Ball appears to be the decision. Up steps Davidson. Tucks it away. Good finish from Lauren Davidson there. She, she looked comfortable. She looked confident. Oscarson from Motlalo. Fulton gives the shout. Porter's layoff. Motlalo through for Chinchia. That is a terrific finish. Uh, a terrific shot and a terrific build-up play there from Glasgow City. A lot off the ball movement, one-touch play, but uh, yeah, absolutely, what a finish. Now City's added firepower, looking to make an impact as Walsh it's there though. Stewart clears, only as far as Fulton again, loops the ball in, Clark, and it drops into the back of the net. It's another double for Glasgow City. This time it's Jenna Clark. Yeah, another another direct cross into the box, just not dealt with by Aberdeen. But credit to Jenna Clark there again, back post and using her presence well. We targeted the girls this time to be a bit more positive than a fortnight ago. So, you know, the fact that we had this uh, collapse for 17 minutes or 16 minutes, I think it was where we lose five goals, was really disappointing and. Um, yeah, I think we were a bit shocked to be in at half time, and but you know Glasgow City, uh, 
clinical and we need to defend the wide areas a lot better than we did today and yeah we found ourselves with an uphill task second half. Really pleasing that we have come back after the international break and everybody's fit and healthy and able to play and contribute so objective was to come and get three points and we've done that so we're happy.